Okay. Well, um, I really want to see if this actually works. Uh, channel. Aha! I am live streaming. How's the quality? Okay, it's not the best quality, but I'll try the 60 frames per second next time. For now, this is okay. Okay, it's not the best quality, but I'll try the 60 frames per second next time. For now, this is okay. Yeah, okay. Cool! Bye, that's so fun. Oh my god, you can see all of my... Oh, that's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. Okay, well, I'm gonna clean up my channel. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to my live stream. Um, I'm playing Dragon Age Inquisition. This is my Inquisitor. Her name is Jessie. Jessie Trevelyan. Um, you know, she's a rogue. Uh, right now we did get to the part where I, I just met the mages in uh, Red Cliff. Um, and uh, right now I'm just I'm just going to the hinterlands, kind of like leveling up and getting myself through because fighting all these people is really hard. So... And let me show you, let me give you an in-depth look at my character, because I'm probably going to do it all the time. Okay, wait. There we go. Okay, so, and that's not really in-depth. Let me see. There we go. So that's her. It's Jessie. She's so pretty. I really worked hard to make her look pretty in this game. And honestly, it's probably just because of the red that really makes her pretty. I might take it off, though. I might take it off and probably do something better with her face. Who knows? Um, but anyways, it's a live stream. We should keep going. Yeah, I'm live streaming. It's like it's I literally no one's gonna watch this besides like the few people that I show this to. Um But yeah, like it's so funny just Sorry that you see me spinning a lot. Um it's really funny when I'm live streaming because I don't know what to say, we don't know what to do, and I'm commentating right now because like it's kinda like what I'm assuming I'm supposed to do. Um The fact that I could talk to myself for a while though. Anyways, um, so the Phantom <laughs> Rift. Oh shit! Oh my god. That tower is impressive, even as a ruin. I wonder what dreams it might hold. So, okay. So, an interesting decision of why I chose a rogue is I love bows, I love archery, I do love the mages. Like, right now I'm using Vivian and Solus. Um, and. I wanted to be a mage, and I wanted to be a mage in all three games. But every time I picked, every time I played the game, I've always chosen to be a rogue. I don't know why. It's probably just because the hatred that like the mages get in this game really doesn't like please me. Just because I've never done it before. Because like the prime example is Dragon Age Two. Because in Dragon Age Two, your hawk is technically supposed to be a, a mage. Like it, the story makes the most sense. But I managed to play it. Oh shit. Um. I managed to play it while like just kind of playing it as a rogue and I played it with a bow the whole game and I romanced Sebastian which in all honesty I look at it now it was kind of a boring romance um but honestly like romancing as a girl wasn't really interesting because there wasn't that many choices like they had a lot of like uh, the like people for like uh bisexual choices and even then I wasn't okay I don't know. I would, not, not that I wasn't okay, because it's a bald ass lie, but I wasn't. It wasn't what I wanted. I wanted like my typical. Oh, okay. I wanted my like my typical guy I go to. And, you, and if anyone who knows my characters that I choose, um, actually, I'm gonna be keeping a surprise of who I choose as the romance in this in this game because to anyone who doesn't watch and who doesn't know, yeah. Um, but anyways, if you know anything about Dragon Age, um. I guess then you would understand what I'm what I'm right now where I am if you don't though I'm very sorry that I'm kind of am going through the gameplay I was really being hesitant towards um, live streaming just because I said earlier like anyone who watches this you know uh, I don't like I don't like being broadcast I don't like being like on live or anything but it's weird and it's kind of funny that I can uh, actually commentate but anyways, 
so this whole like part one that I have on my live stream for this little live stream thing, it's gonna just gonna be an introduction of my channel. Cause you know, I'm like a YouTuber and everything, like oh damn. Um, yeah, like so I'm like a YouTuber now, like <laughs> I gotta monetize my videos and all that, so I can't show blood and gore and this that's a lie. Okay, I can't pick that up. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. So, anything that you see in this part, and if you don't understand, I'm very sorry. Um, I already kind of did make a new game, so I'm not going to make another new game so I can, like, introduce it. Just kind of watch, like, a part, like, one through five of someone's series, because that's essentially what I'm going through. Um, I have played this game, like, a couple times already. This is kind of, like, my third playthrough. And, uh... I don't know, I just wanted to play this game, I wanted to broadcast it, I wanted to show my story, because this game especially is like, you can't understand how this game works unless you play it, and if you haven't played it, but you don't play like long RPGs, then here you go. Here's why you're watching my channel. Goodbye. I love her voice. Uh, Cause she sounds slightly British, but it's like the, the the British pitch that I want for my own character. Oh shit! Ah! Okay, cool. Yay. Okay, hold on. I gotta send the live stream link to my friend. Oh, oh my god, hi! Templar bastards killed my husband and stole the ring from his finger. They deserve to die. Templars killed. Oh, wait, I forgot. This isn't like. Yeah, okay. You're saying the Templars attacked your husband? Aye. He was digging out a stump. The fools couldn't tell a shovel from a mage's staff. Had to be safe, they said. Rebels everywhere attacking by surprise, sick bastards. They took the ring I gave him on our wedding day in case it was magic. I shall find oh. that ring for you. Mm. Excuse me, Cassandra. So anyways, just an introduction of people that these these people in case you don't know who they are. So, this is Vivian. She you know she's the grand enchanter of of um, Ole, and we have Solis here, who's an apostate mage who we happen to find in the beginning. Um, yeah, and then we have uh, Cassandra, who technically is the the starting character in the series in this like um, this game. There we go. That's the word. Um, she's the one who started the Inquisition, so you can kind of have a catch up of what the story is. She's kind of the one who started the Inquisition. She uh, she had the book because she was the left hand of the divine, I believe, or the right hand, the right hand because everyone's right handed, um, apparently. Um, and so and pre but she's just she's just one of the starting ones, and this is the Inquisitor who isn't the Inquisitor yet technically, but I mean it's kind of like the point of the game, so you're playing it. So it's not really a spoiler, but. I mean, it's gonna come anyways. Anyways, um, right now she's the Herald of Andraste, and yeah, she's the one with the mark, and that's how you saw me close the rift, because the whole point of Inquisition is the rift is open, so the little rifts are out and all that, so yeah. Okay, sorry about that. L just an awkward. Just you know, skip ten seconds ahead. Um. Anyways, back to the game. I was trying to text my friend. You know, his the link to this live stream. Excuse me. Have you seen another Inquisition scout? Elven woman answers to Ritz. A, 
You said your friend hasn't reported back. Well, she was supposed to be checking on some apostates. I'm on duty here, or I'd go look for her. We'll go look for her. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Anyways, this is fun. This is fun, like, commentating um, about what I'm doing, I guess. Um, it's kind of a long live stream. Uh, if the quality sucks, sorry. Like I said, uh, next episode of the live stream, I'll make sure to put, like, the 60 frames per second. Because I don't have 1080p, so sorry. I don't have a good graphics card and all that shit. Y'all gonna have to deal with it. Um, okay. Ooh, there's a camp here. This would make a good place to camp. Nothing to report, sir. All right, then. Um, <laughs> well, we got everything. Something to report, she said. Nothing to report, sir. Oh, nothing to report, fucking dumb bitch. Um, <laughs> uh, anyways, like I said, monetizing. <laughs> and we'll do this, why not? Got one power. Now there's a whole, uh, you know what, I'm not going back for her. Um, okay, let me look at the game map. Oh, the caches. Oh, there's so many side quests. I don't want to do all this. Uh, but now I kind of have to because I'm doing a live stream. Anyways, lol. Yeah, I just said lol on a live stream. You know what? I'm just going to be quiet now. Okay, so we have to go... We don't really have to do any of this. Oh my god, who's watching? Oh my god. <laughs> Who the fuck is watching? Y'all just made me nervous. Anyways, um, whoever's watching, um, thanks for letting me embarrass myself. Oh, that's you watching. Oh, bye. Anyways, okay, so, I'm sorry for the awkward silence. Um... Bye, I was so embarrassed for a second when I found out people were watching. Safe travel, sir. Do I not have the... okay. Um... Anyways, for that bitch named Sharon who stole his desk, um... You're a fat ass, bitch ass, bitch. Um, shouldn't be stealing people's desk. But anyways. I honestly wonder who's watching. So whoever's watching, let me know. So I can laugh about it. All right, we made it to the Winter Watch Tower. I'm 
Speaker Annis. I know you. They call you the Herald of Andraste for what you did at Haven. But are you? The Maker has not told me. Hmm. Well, okay, so to my inquisition, like so far what I've done with choices like regarding if I'm the Herald of Andraste, I have been saying that like I'm not like kinda I'm not certain because uh I just don't for me myself, like my own character in, in like role playing wise in this game, um my I don't my character doesn't believe in all that, you know, like supreme like religion stuff. But that's just because my real character. Um, but I, she does believe in religion, so. But anyways. I honestly don't know myself. As I suspected, stories of you mastering the rifts are just blind heresy. No, I can seal rifts. Then prove it. Show me that the rifts bend to your will, the will of the Maker. Show me the power you wield. This cult. What are you doing out here? What is it you think is happening? The Chantry has fallen, and shown its imperfection in doing so. The Chant of Light was a lie. It was arrogance to think that mortal lips could frame the Maker's will. And so we wait in silence. The Maker has opened the sky. Soon he will call his Chosen back to the Golden City. Until later. Until the Maker brings you back to us. Okay, let's go. I suppose it only natural that some would turn to worshipping the breach, if only in hopes of appeasing it. We should look around. Sounds strange. Look, there are Inquisition soldiers even here. I told you we would be safe. I am not certain of my own. We could still return to your family's estate. No. There is nothing for me back there. All right then, let's keep continuing on. Sorry for anyone who actually is watching this live stream. Thank you. I hear rumors about what caused the explosion that killed the divine, my lady. We need no longer listen to rumors. We know the truth. Okay, I will say though, for that choice that I made for saying I wasn't certain, um, I'm gonna say I regret that because I do know the whole like factor of because of because I do have the name of the Herald of Andraste. Um, like the name's already on my like mom on my my that title's already on my name essentially so i guess i should kind of make people believe that i am while you were coming up did you meet a young noblewoman with blonde hair and pale green eyes lady venona should be here we need to be together when the maker comes where would your friend be she is my love and she should be here i wrote to her weeks ago i know the path up the hill is dangerous but Surely the mages and Templars would not trouble a young lady. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Please, if you meet my beloved, tell her I am waiting. Oh, you poor fool. I hear something. Is it this? <gasps> Alcohol! Oh, damn, now that I'm live streaming, I should read those. Oh, well. I don't like that fucking the control does that. It's so wonky like that. Um, but so far, uh, Dragon Age Inquisitions, a really good game. I do love this game actually. It's one of my cl classic favorites from PlayStation 4. Um, the title, like the series in general, I'm a huge fan. Huge geek of this game. Um, so, Les, have you always lived alone, out in the wilderness as an apostate? For the most part. Would that not be incredibly trying? People can be trying. Mankind, most of all. That... is an excellent point. He does have a point. I honestly didn't listen to what he said. I greet you. My name is Hindle. I'm from Redcliffe Village. 
Hindle, your mother can't breathe. Your father sent me here for potion. What? She was fine. She hasn't had the breathing trouble in... All right, I can help. Here, I have some already made. Go, take it to her now. Let me tell you, that mission, or the, that quest has been on my quest, <laughs> on my quest board for days. I have barely completed this quest, and let me tell you, that mother is probably dying, but essentially this is a video game, so she's fine. I'm not reading all that. Y'all can read that. Maybe I should, oh my god. Oh, I thought she had the long hair. Nothing important here. Look how this filing cabinet's there. All right, let's go close this breach, guys. Let me just... Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Don't touch me! Oh shit! Okay. That did something. Thank you, Solus. Uh, actually, just disturb the riff again. No, no, no! had a level up ready oh okay well um yeah so i'm an archer like mainly an archer i have been t kind of dabbling in this but because i want to get this skill and this skill um usually i would have gotten evade already but yeah what can you do right <laughs> enemies will swear that you were there attacking the empty air and hurting nobody but themselves as you leap away you now move directly through the shadows to attack and retreat as needed. Huh? Oh, okay. Knockout powder. Oh, the shadow strike was such an overpowered move. Oh, I can make my fucking archer really good. Okay, well, uh, what should I buy? Explosive shot? What does these do? So explosive shot. You fire a powerful shot that explodes on impact and da damaging enemies around the, your target. So it requires a bow. Damage 200%. Water, dam water damage. Okay, anyways. Um, 4 meters. 12 seconds. And costs 0 stamina? What? This costs 0 stamina. Since when? When did this cost zero stamina? Bye. Okay, well. Bye. Okay, well, maybe it's because I have a fire ability, so the explosions come naturally. Oh, look, Agnes. Um, am I supposed to speak to her over there? I am. Hold on, let me just mark that quest. I'm gonna head back that way, because I, I think that's how the quest goes. Simply and naturally. Let me go to get this chest. Also, that staff on Vivian, don't mind it. I kind of just put random things on it. I don't usually do that. I usually, like, make them look actually really nice. Um, but I chose not to this time, I guess. Alright, Agnes, walk faster, bitch. Isn't this supposed to be Agnes? I don't know who's supposed to be- Oh my god, Agnes is walking so slow.
Baker's tears. I was a fool to have doubted you. How may we serve you? Herald of Andraste. Spot whatever the Inquisition. Listen and got the information. He went no. Hel help the refugees. people help the refugees. As you say, Herald of Andraste. Some few will remain here. The rest will go forth to do your will. When the Maker calls you to your great purpose, remember that we serve. Yay, we did it. Full move to follow your divine will. It shall be as you say. Okay, so we did it. Good for us. Prize the Herald of Andraste. Um, I don't know what how, what's wrong with my controller, but it always makes me walk. I don't know why. It might just be the terrain in this game, I guess. I don't have a logical explanation for that. Ooh, Templars! Oh, it's the scout! No! Get away from her! If not for you, I'd be dead. Ritz. Do you need anything? I should probably report back. Why? Uh, I was supposed to talk to her. Call her that. So, the truth. I may have been, um, passing time with Eldreda. I take it the Templars interrupted your very friendly picnic. We would. Yes. At, at first, she was just a mage who saw me and didn't attack, but, but later, we. So, are you going to report me? I wouldn't worry too much. If you keep quiet on this, I'll be more careful from now on, I promise. So, are you going to report me? What? I wouldn't worry too much. Oh, okay, so now, what do I do? I don't understand. Love weights? No. If you guys see it and I don't, I'm gonna be so embarrassed, but I literally don't see it. <laughs> oh. There we go. Cool, got my stuff. And then shallow breaths. Okay, let me call my horse. Also, I can't sprint with my horse. It's kind of funny. But that's fine. Ooh, wait, there's much. Looks like there's something there. Ooh, wrong button. <laughs> okay, we're good. That was it. Oh yeah, the that mission for the the race is on. Um, that's been a mission for a while. Ooh. Um, it's been a mission for a while. I just didn't, haven't done anything. What's this? I haven't done it because, like I said, I can't sprint with my horse. It's kind of difficult to do that. Ooh. Elendra, I don't know how this will reach you, but with the last strength of my shaking hands, what else could I write? To, what else could I do but write you? Something about the magic. A lot of these. Look, I'm gonna say this right now. If you guys want to read this, go ahead. <laughs> I'm not gonna read this for the oh, phylacteries. Oh, okay. For the sake of me playing this game for the third time, I'm not gonna read the codexes. Oi. Okay, let's go. 
Mind you, this is a live stream and like not like a recorded series, I guess, a pre-recorded series. So I can't really like edit out and like do all that crazy stuff. Let alone, can I even edit out anything? God, was it so hard to just trim a clip of um, something that I did a long time ago? I was like trying to like edit like a small clip of the whole like movie that I filmed. It wasn't even a movie, it was literally... Not even film it, my friend filmed it. Anyways, it was like a like a video that they were doing. And I was trying to record like a little like like a trailer crip and it didn't work. Well it did work. Okay, anyways. Um I found Ritz and rescued her from the attack by the Templars. She's fine. Thank you. I appreciate you taking the time. It's dangerous out here for everyone. I'm glad the Inquisition is trying to put things right. <laughs> Now, I have never actually... So a lot of these choices that I did make, I haven't actually done the other choices. Um, so I'm just gonna do like the choices that I usually pick. Like I said, this is my third gameplay. I'm not doing anything to change challenging. Like, for God's sake, this is my third time Whoa. playing as a, as a human Inquisitor that's an archer, let alone a fucking... Or, yeah, a, a rogue, let alone an archer. And... I, yeah, I'm just not trying to do anything. Oh my God. Okay, this is not working. <laughs> Inquisition! Attack! A safe. Make it take you! The apostates have fled to the hills. Fine work out there. People will think twice before attacking the Inquisition now. Yes. Oh, I hate these. And this is going to be so embarrassing because people are watching me now. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that was simple. Okay, cool. I'll go to do that later. So, an apostate. That is correct, Enchanter. I did not train in your circle. Well, dear, I hope you can take care of yourself, should we encounter anything outside your experience. I will try, in my own fumbling way, to learn from how you helped seal the rifts at Haven. Ah, wait. My memory misleads me. You were not there. Oh! <coughs> Well, <laughs> well, he had a point. There seems to be a oh. okay. Well, found the cash. This then... must be one of the supply caches Recruit Whittle wished us to find. I pick up all this minerals. A letter from a dead dwarf. Ooh, I got a rugged longbow. Okay. Um, any... So now, mind you, if I could, just grab this recording of this live stream, save it. I'm pretty sure it is going to be saved on YouTube. But if there's a way... Oh no, I'm sorry, Mabari. I didn't mean to hurt you. Um... But if there's, like... They're already grabbing on me. <laughs> if there's a way that I can record this video, um, find a way to save it, like, save it onto my hard drive on my, my, my laptop, and then try to figure out a way to record it. I'd do that. I would. Isn't it? Let me see. Oh, there's just one person watching me. Well, hi, one person just watching me. Um, actually, hold on. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'm back now. Um. Hi, Templars. Hey, Sailors. So, mind you, I already do have a little bit of abilities, which is why I shoot my bow really fast. Um. So, yeah, if, if it kind of looks like I'm a little overpowered already, which I'm not. I'm not gonna say I am. Just wait till, like, I have all six of these. To be honest, I don't even need to be doing any of these quests anymore. I really could just do the next story quest. Oh, shit, it's already 2.30. Alright, let's do this. Wait, hold on. I can go, I can go disturb the rift right now. Cool. Ooh. Okay. Now we're good. Someone's gonna be attacking us in three, two, one. Oh fuck. Get away. Oh no 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 no. What? It just said it doesn't use stamina, but okay. Well. Cool. Okay, so let's look at the quest map. Um... Yeah, these all these I can do later. I'm not really in the mood to do all these side quests. Um, and there's side quests, that's so like I'm kind of wasting time on my live stream to do these side quests. Uh, mind you, some of them I'm, I would do. I'm not saying all of them are bad or boring. Like this one right here, return the ring to the... Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Um, so I could just pass through here, go through there, and then eventually get myself... Hmm. Oh, I, I'm going to do that one too. Return the phylactery and do that too. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'll head back to town. I'll, I need to. I need to get that. Cause look, red cliff's right there. So. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. We're gonna head back because I'm gonna start doing the next story cutscene, and you guys can enjoy the brilliant story that Dragon Age Inquisition is. Y'all saw that? Y'all want her? <laughs> yeah, see, look, my game's doing that weird thing where I walk and I stop running. Every time I mention it, it doesn't say anything. Like, see, look, I'm talking about it now, and see, I'm not stunning. I don't know. I'm, see, look, there. See, I'm not crazy. Ew. ASMR. Sorry, guys. Look, a bitch is thirsty. If y'all heard that, yeah, I'm thirsty, but... Um... If no one heard anything, that just kind of embarrass myself again. Oh look, another one. More supplies for recruit Whittle. See, look, I'm doing the walking thing. Okay, I'm gonna call my horse because that's annoying. Although I don't like riding the horses because when you do walk, they they make commentary. It ruins the whole purpose of having a horse, but whatever. You see, look, my horses literally isn't trotting.
Okay. Now, I know that doing a lot of side quests, you do get agents and all that for the Inquisition in it. Where's that helps the a lot. They don't care who they kill anymore. Is this your husband's ring? I found ring? this ring on a Templar I killed. This is it. Praise to you and the Inquisition for giving my husband justice. It won't bring him back, but his spirit will rest easier now. As will mine. I'm glad I could do that to help. And because of my little walking issue, I'm, I'm just gonna fast travel, so... Yeah. Oh, there's a cache right there. Should I get it? I'm gonna get it. Oh my god, the house is on fire. Oh my god, look. I'm literally, like, trying... I'm pressing the analog stick so much for, like forward and it doesn't do anything. I think the cache would be over here. Oh, shit. Oh, it's Templar. I totally just looted at their house without knowing what the hell this story was. I feel so bad. Yeah, codex entries really don't matter, I guess. They do. Some of them actually... Uh, wow. Some of them provide a lot of, like, context to what you're doing, I guess, in a sense. Um, but generally, like... Whatever you see on camera is what you're gonna see that it, that means in the game. Like the first time I played this game, I knew a little bit behind the scenes because I played Origins like twice and then Dragon Age two like I think once, um, which is a brilliant game at that. I tried playing as a mage and as a guy and I couldn't even do that. Like there was a whole fucking relationship that I could have done like with Anders for Dragon Age two and I could have done it but I didn't do it because I wanted to be the girl. I think that with the girl I did Anders too, which is funny. Do you guys see my problem? Okay. Well, that didn't work. Let me try that again. That didn't work either. Actually, let me try something out. Okay. There. Cause my, the walking works. Damn it! I'm gonna do that again. Oh, I was so close. Whatever. Okay, I'm fast traveling now. Wait, isn't the camp here? There's no camp here. Bio's right there. Um, well, the city's right here. Uh, I don't want to fast travel, but I'm going to. I don't normally do fast travel in video games. Um, <laughs> just because it breaks immersion. But this game is so fucking big. Please hurry. Here you go. Here you go. The potion and instructions on how to make it. Silas, bless you. Or the maker. Or whoever. It, it doesn't matter. Just thank you. I'll give it to her right away. If ever I can help the Inquisition, you have my word. Nice. Now where's your wife? Is this her? Bye. Bye, she's dead. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything, but she's dead. Make good use of it. Thank you. Excuse me. Okay. Now we get the Oh, I have to do all that. Okay. I'll Go talk to her. Bye. I don't even have anything. I don't have royal elf fruit. 
I'll bring the phylactery to Alindra. Why not? Because the walking is a little wonky right now. We'll play like classic Dragon Age mode. What is my character doing? Okay, Dragon Age is a little crazy. <laughs> I couldn't just walk. A pleasure to see you again. Are you running short of healing herbs? Yes, I need them to keep wounds from go. It's too dangerous to go hunting through the hills to get. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've already read all that. That wasn't a mission I was supposed to do anyways. Where's Alindra so I can give her the damn phylactery? Oh, everyone's leveled up? Everyone did level up. I have heard stories about you, Herald of Andraste. I am Enchanter Elendra. I hope you find a way to end this foolish war. If you're a mage, why aren't you with the rebel mages? I was an enchanter in the College of Equitarians. We wanted tolerance, not war. By rights, I am sworn to join the rebels. But I had friends among the Templars. I will not fight them. I know my own strength. I have no fear of demons. I will keep to myself and harm none. I go. believe this is your phylactery. I found it on the body of a dead Templar named Matry. Ah, oh, I suspected he died when he did not join me or send word. Make a curse the fools who started this war and the fools who now fight it. Thank you. Oh my god. Catherine was important to me. Here, for your trouble. I'd like to know more about you and Matrin. Ah, Templars and mages. Natural enemies, they always say. As though you can keep healthy men and women close to each other for years without anyone getting ideas. We were friends for many years and lovers for many more. Let's turn the camera. And now he is gone because of this war. Okay, we'll turn the camera a little bit more this way so it doesn't look like her eyes are a little bit weird. You haven't joined the rebels or the refugees. Are you on your own? Yes, it is safer that way for everyone. At first, I used my healing skills to help the refugees. But when the Templars saw me, they attacked. Innocent people died in that battle. I will endanger no more. Well, um, let's ask her if she can join the Inquisition. The Inquisition could use the skills of a powerful mage. If I wished to kill others, I would have joined the rebels. How is the Inquisition any better? Uh, Vivian. The Inquisition is our chance to restore order, Enchanter. Without it, we'll be no better than apostates. Madame Vivienne, court mage of the Empress of Orlais. I am honored. And if you back the Inquisition, so shall I. My skills are yours. Just give me a moment to gather my things. <gasps> Yay! We gotta... Oh, so you have to do this when you... Okay. Okay. Cool, we got our first agent. I could have sworn there's I should have gotten like th at least like three more agents and I haven't but I think I was supposed to get recruit Whittle as an agent and I didn't oh my god I'm so mad no I don't know whatever I don't want to be oh, I have to get her fucking enchanting tome bye I've been pressing oh so I just found out left on the d-pad is how you click the map Nothing for a right. Okay, cool. Now I have to press my broken pause button. Let's go grab your town, Vivian, and then we'll leave. Oh my god, guys, I'm literally like dashing with this fucking analog stick and I don't want and it doesn't want me to move. Come on.
I think they mean up there. Let's head this way. No, oh, okay. Guess that I didn't hear. Still take this though. How do we get up there? That way. So I've always thought the way that this game is made, the little open world is kind of a little wonky. I, and I kind of... I honestly don't like it. <laughs> um, not that it's bad, because Dragon Age has always been like this. Um, but it's this is a little too open world, and especially after the disaster of this other game called Dynasty Warriors 9. Um, they tried to do open world, and ever since then, I've like not liked op open world games anymore. I have like no more respect for them, just because... Companies really think that like open world means like as long as as long as you can play like uh, as long as, yeah as long as you can play online like or not even online because you can't even do that in this game and in the other game like online on this game is actually kind of fun I will admit I'm not gonna say it's bad hunting bow and totem cool. All right, Vivian. I love Vivian. A lot of people don't like Vivian, but I love Vivian. Especially th how my character perceives Vivian is so beautiful. The story. Okay, so let's go. Quest map. I don't know why I press pause again. It's a natural habit. The way I'm talking is so gross too. Um. <laughs> okay, so wow. So I have. Head to the Inquisition War Room. Head, return to the... Okay, well. Let's go to Haven, I guess. Um, oh, the Black Emporium. Yeah, let's head to Haven. I had a couple of missions in, in, in Stormhaven. That's what it's called. Stormhaven, but I didn't want to do it, so... At least not right now. I'm so tired. How long have I been recording now? <laughs> um. Ew, I have the broadcasting thing. That's, I don't like that. Oh, but cool. It tells me my time. I've barely been recording for an hour. Not, not bad. Yeah, but I'm taking that off. Hi guys, welcome back. So, okay. Well, I'm gonna go do a checkup on everyone. And talk to people. Yes. <laughs> usually, you see, look, and I can talk about the seekers. Can you tell me more about the seekers? The seekers of truth were born from the original Inquisition long ago, when it united with the Chantry. Seekers stood above the Templars watching over them, but also investigating magical events they couldn't handle. We were meant to be incorruptible, above reproach. How seldom does reality match the ideal? Mm. But what are Seekers exactly? Those who know anything of us think we are Templars. We do not use Lyrium, however. Our abilities are different, as was our original purpose. We disciplined the Templars and were accountable only to the Divine. And not even her, truthfully. So nobody ever watched over the Seekers? It was the Divine's duty. But she could only do so much when the truth was hidden from her. The Templars have always feared us. When a Seeker arrived at a circle, they knew trouble was afoot. That kind of power is troubling. You begin to think you are the only one who can solve the world's problems. If you don't see a problem, it doesn't exist. If someone insists it does, they are the blind ones. Hmm. Do you think that kind of problem could ever be fixed? Possibly. Though the Seekers themselves would need to change. 
they were clearly not willing to, even though they abandoned everything they stood for to avoid it. In my heart, I believe they can still be salvaged, but not by their own hands. You mentioned that Seekers have different abilities than Templars. Entirely. A Templar's abilities come from Lyrium and are designed to hunt mages. Ours come from ritual and many years of dedicated training. We cannot be possessed by demons and are immune to mind control. Useful, considering our role. Seekers can gain other gifts, though that depends on the individual. What kind of gifts do you have? I can set the Lyrium within a person's blood aflame. Both mages and Templars bend before my will. Some Seekers use it to interrogate, others simply to paralyze. Jesus. Once there was a Seeker who could use it to kill. That particular gift is considered rare. How does someone become a Seeker? Most Seekers begin training in their youth. I was much older. An exception due to my noble birth. We train rigorously for years. Our bodies and minds must be elastic to undergo the vigil, and most fail even then. Is the vigil some kind of initiation? It is the rite every seeker must go through in order to summon their gifts. A full year of fasting, prayer, and separation from all distractions, including other people. We mm. empty ourselves oh, of all emotions. Focusing only on the purity of our devotion. Sorry, I don't talk and during commentary, or like when they when I talk. Wonderful. I cannot put it into words. I wish I could experience that. If the vigil was not so arduous, I'd say more should attempt it. What if mages never needed to fear possession by demons? I'm told it is impossible, however. I suppose I'll never know the truth of it now. Oh. Sorry if you hear me fumbling with my headphones. It hurt my ears. Why did your order turn against the Chantry? We originally united with the Chantry for a treaty that stated they would keep mages under control. It was felt Most Holy had tacitly allowed the Circle of Magi to vote on its independence, thus breaking the treaty. The oh Seekers God. saw themselves as justified. And they led the Templars into a war of righteousness. You sound like you disagree. We knew what was happening at Kirkwall, where the Mage Rebellion began. We looked into reports of Knight Commander Meredith's harsh treatment of her charges years earlier. But we found so many shocking cases of magical corruption, it was decided her actions were justified. If we'd been there when it happened, if we'd looked harder at the root causes, You're right. Something should have been done. When faced with a problem, the Seekers would close ranks and crush it. I'm so we would pretty. find an answer, but only once we felt we weren't being coerced. The moment the Mages voted for independence, our response was predictable. It was difficult to watch. Enough talk I've for now. Questions. No, let's look here. Cullen. Yes. Is there anything I should know? The Lord Seeker's actions are a mystery, but the Templars will aid us. They cannot sit idle while the breach remains. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? Hmm. What do you think of our ambassador? We have little. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me, but I enjoy working with her. How do you like working with Leliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly, but Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? Our numbers are small, but they suit our needs for the time being. Some Templars have joined us instead of following the order. They've proven invaluable in training new recruits. 
I should let you get back to work. Well, that's good that we have that about the about the soldiers. Hi, Lisa. See reason, Lisa. We cannot stay here. Why not? Because we're Templars. Okay, it's the same. What does that even Commentary. That we declare our independence and march off the Hi, Krim. Can I help you with anything? Iron Bull said the charges were at my disposal. Do you have any suggestions on how to use them? Nothing jumps out at me. If I come up with any ideas, I'll let you know. Can we talk about the Bull's charges? Best company you'll find from here to the Anderfels. In my time with the Chief, we've gone up against everything from bandits to magic trees. We're expensive, but you'll never doubt we're worth it. Want to know anything in particular? Do the Chargers specialize in anything from a tactical standpoint? Bull doesn't want us large enough to work as an army. We're better as shock troops or skirmishers. We've got archers for hitting enemy infantry, Dalish with ma more archery. <laughs> 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 Rocky handles fortifications and traps, and Stitches keeps us all fighting. They mostly hold back. I'll lead the front line fighters. <laughs> the chief goes wherever he can hit something. You said something about everything from bandits to magic trees. I'll admit to some curiosity. Right. Sylvans. That's what Dalis called them. Apparently spirits can possess trees, too. Some noble in the Dales, and they really don't like it when you call them Dalish nobles, had a haunted forest. His family had abandoned the land, but he wanted it back. The chief bought us all axes, and in we went. Between the axes and the torches, the Sylvans weren't too bad. The worst part was the squirrels. <laughs> Are there rules for how mercenaries operate? If you don't want some noble to treat you like bandits, yes. There's also a code of conduct most companies hold to. Keep things civilized on the battlefield. We accept surrenders for ransom from mercenaries, nobles, and soldiers wearing a lord's colors. Our prisoners are treated well, injuries tended. We'd want the same for any of ours who got captured. Hmm. We'll talk later. Bull. What's going on? Anything interesting? Yeah, all right. let's ask him his so, name. How did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. We don't have names under the cube. Just, I don't know. Job descriptions, I guess. When I came to Orlais, I chose the Iron Bull for myself. But why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. Also, it's THE Iron Bull, technically. I like having an article at the front. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon. An implement of destruction. That really works for me. See you later, Bull. See ya. Have you oh, there's Portals Master Dennett and the Inquisition. Feels good to be back at work. Lucky you have me. In lesser hands, you'd be in trouble. Haven can't support the mounts you need, but I can. How are your charges? Well supplied? Haven is groaning under the weight. It wasn't built for this, but we'll make it serve. Oh, sorry, my headphones really hurt. Farewell. I might have to end this live stream Thank soon because my headphones hurt too much. All's well. Okay, I don't want to talk to him anymore. Um, I'll get another post later. Bye. Is this where Black? Why is Blackwall here? I totally forgot about Blackwall. Make a look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it, to be that close. If I hadn't been saved by the Inquisition soldiers, I don't know what would have happened. Inquisition soldiers? That's not what I've heard. The Breach, the Divine's death, the Wardens. It doesn't make sense. There's so much we don't know. Your experience with the Wardens will certainly be useful. Mostly the treaties, I expect. Old parchments you're welcome to. What about you? How do you fit into all this? I just want to help stop the war. Try to put things back in order. A worthy goal, one I'm happy to support. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. Good. He's a soldier. Uh, 
Um, I don't need anything new. I like my outfit. I mean, my colors could be better, <laughs> but my outfit is alright. Need something? Hmm. I read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. In the book, you say that first enchanter oh. Orsino turned himself into a giant monster made of corpses. How? Why? Do I look like an expert on magical weirdness to you? Well, I can't tell you how. For the why, all I can say is he was desperate. There's no way Hawk really could have killed the Arashok. It would have started a war with the Kunari. I was told later that the Kunari disavowed his actions. Apparently the Arashok didn't get permission before he attacked Kirkwall and the Kuhn didn't want another exalted march. When they finally sent a ship to haul the Red Dreadnought away, they just said, we will never speak of this again. And as far as I can tell, that's the Kuhn's version of an apology. Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Merrill decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and Templars so far. I guess mm. she has My eyes hurt so much. avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish clan. Fenris has kept himself busy, hunting down the Tevinter slavers who came south to prey on the refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. You can usually follow the trail of corpses, though. Isabella went back to the Raiders. She's calling herself an Admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing, honestly. Sebastian <laughs> went back to Starkhaven. I'm sure he's boring all sorts of people there. Hawk's brother Carver is still in the Free Marches, helping the Kirkwall guard keep order. Aveline is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. Hmm. That's nice to know about Aveline. I loved Aveline. She was such a good companion. Talk to Sarah. Chasing mages. That's a temp. Oh God, who's still watching? Helm polisher. Suppose there's one person still watching. So them. thank you. Or stay home. Still I'll be back if I need you. Go on. You can't be happy giving up your whole life for the maker. I mean, look at the clock. I am. Mother um. Okay. What happened to my game? The fuck? Oh, there you go. Oh my god, bye. Why is this game acting up so d weird? Whatever. Whatever. Oh! See, I did get a mission. See, that's why I talk to people. What can I do for you? I'd like to know more about you, Solus. Why? Why not? Privacy? Caution? Concern about the direction of this Inquisition once our work is done? Then don't tell me. I wasn't asking as part of the Inquisition. I'm sorry. With so much fear in the air. What would you know of me? Have you always traveled and studied alone? Not at all. I have built many lasting friendships. Spirits of wisdom, possessed of ancient knowledge, happy to share what they had seen. Spirits of purpose helped me search. Even wisps, curious and playful, would point out treasures I might have missed. I don't know of any spirits by those names. They rarely seek this world. When they do, their natures do not often survive exposure to the people they encounter. Wisdom and purpose are too easily twisted to pride and desire. You're saying that you became friends with pride and desire demons? They were not demons for me. Meaning? 
The Fade reflects the minds of the living. If you expect a spirit of wisdom to be a pride demon, it will adapt. And if your mind is free of corrupting influences, if you understand the nature of the spirit, they can be fast friends. I'm impressed that you could become friends with spirits. Anyone who can dream has the potential. Few ever try. My friends comforted me in grief and shared my joy. Yet, because they exist without form, as we understand it, the Chantry declares that spirits are not truly people. Is Cassandra defined by her cheekbones and not her faith? Varric by his chest hair and not his wit? Hmm. I hadn't thought about it just doesn't make him happy. I, your point. I thank you. Few are willing to entertain such a notion. I mean it it is true, they are kinda like people. Um, I'll ask him more questions later. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Okay, seems I talked to everyone. Maybe Liliana here. She can give me a mission, I think. Seems Blackwall knows nothing about the disappearance of the Grey Wardens. It's a disappointment. I am, however, glad that he is with us. Even if he was not what I expected. He seems to be a good man, and his experience will be an asset to the Inquisition. <sighs> As for the other Wardens, I suppose we will have to keep looking. You seem to know a great many people. I have made friends, and on occasion enemies. It's unavoidable. You have a history with the Warden who entered the Blight, don't you? I count her among my closest friends. She's probably the only person I trust completely. I haven't heard from her in some time. She just disappeared. I try not to think about what might have happened. They say you spent some time in Lothering. Did you know the champion? We spoke a few times. I seldom left the Chantry, and we never became more than casual acquaintances. I saw more of the Hulk twins. Bethany in particular. She would spend time in meditation at the Chantry, and she seemed to like my stories. The other one, the young man, he was a little surly. I did encounter the champion again later in Kirkwall. Those were terrible times. Oh yeah. The chantry was destroyed. No, that happened later. But even then, the news coming out of Kirkwall was disheartening. There were some in Valrayo who wanted the Divine to declare an exalted march on Kirkwall. Justina sent me there to see if that could be avoided, to gather evidence to calm those agitating for war. I guess it didn't matter in the end. We can continue this conversation later. You know where I am. Well, so if anyone's still watching and not bored by all this conversation, thank you. Yes. Um. Yeah, we'll talk to her later. All right. So, for anyone else who's still watching this, let's head in. Okay, I gotta talk to Josephine at least. I talked to everyone. I asked Adon not to rush us. Demon essence is dangerous. Sorry. No, it's fine. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Sir Griffith of Denerim, a most distinguished knight of the realm. He's defeated Darkspawn, slain demons, chased down abominations. Just don't ask him about it over dinner. He spares no detail. <laughs> Alright guys, so storm in the war council. Oh, I got into Inquisition perks. Okay, so forces, secrets, connections, or Inquisition. History. 
Hmm. I got the nobility, nobility, nobility knowledge. Okay, knowledge. Could do that. I want to do the knowledge stuff first because it always opens more things. We'll do arcane. Oh, okay, so I have three. Oh, I forgot about these. And we got gold. Cool. Josephine written from a note to Sarah. Sarah's Google. Um, let's do. We'll do that later. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. Okay, like, hey, so I'm not gonna excuse anything. But so we did that. Truth to death, Imperial Court Ambassador. I am um, enjoyed your soiree, soiree, so so soiree, and I. Hope to see you at the next summer cottage for a picnic luncheon uh, next month. Do not fret about these ghastly things you, you think said about your associates. More reasoned heads will prevail at this foolish gossip. It will have come nothing. Good. Good. Jumping Let's do this one. A successor in Lindus. Part of the Ben Hasra's reporting noting the certain which has been Duke. The duchy will go to one of three members of the Duke's. Oi! Shit! I hit something, sorry. Of the dead Duke's family, all of whom have possible claims to the position due to the complex nature of Orlesian politics, his cousin Carolina, already a duchess by marriage, his daughter Monet, who, whose claim is muddied by her youthful na naive Nevet, Nevet, I'll say that, and the fact her father pushed her into a life of service to the Chantry after his wife's death, um, likely to protect her from, from the danger of the game. Um, and his brother Jean Gaspard, who an, um, an ambitious and cunning man who has been searching for power, Carolara is capable of not overly in being invested in overseeing Lindis personally. Um, money would be the most easily manipulated, but less likely to be useful. And uh, Jean Gaspard would be difficult to manipulate, and could present a threat if his brother succeeds. Um, okay. Bye. <gasps> Bye, that's so messed up. Um, the Chevalier, I do see. Yeah. We should just do that. Jean Gaspard is a chevalier and a couple, capable military leader. If we want him removed, I dare say we might recruit him for ourselves. It's either that one or it's, it'll be this one. Monet would do better in the, in the Chantry than in the game. I can see, I, I can see that she can be encouraged to take her vows.
So I think we want Carlisle. Okay. Um, let's recruit. I mean, we might as well recruit Jean Gaspard. To work? Yeah. And Liliana, what can you do? Do this one for me. It's only 29 minutes. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we do have. We can do Champions of the Just. Or we can do In Hushed Whispers. And In Hushed Whispers is about working with the mages. Um, it says right here, Redcliffe Castle and the mages who, who could close the breach um, are under control of the Mas Ma Magister Giron Alexius, a venatory cultist with an un unhealthy in interest in Trevelyan and the power to re reorder time itself. He has and kindly invited Trevelyan to the castle alone to negotiate. It's an obvious trap, but Liliana and her agents can infiltrate the castle and remove the venatory threat while Alexius's attention is diverted. A dangerous game, but uh, our best chance. Or we could do Champions of the Just. Liliana and Jofus Liliana and Josephine have been working tirelessly to convince Cohius and win over some Orle's most influential houses. Ten noble families will help the Inquisition pressure uh, the Templars into sealing the breach, traveling to Therifon Doubt and demanding the Lord Seeker to deal with them or face the wrath of Orle. The Inquisition has promised they herald of Unjusted as a voice to ne these ne negotiations. Sorry, I'm getting like hiccups. Honestly, <sighs> see, last time I did the Templars, and it's not, I'm not going to be influenced to do one or the other, um, but personally, I really think, I think the mages are our best, are, 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 they're the best bet. They're our best bet. Yeah. We don't have the manpower to take the castle. Either we find another way in. Or give up this nonsense and go and get the Templars. Redcliffe is in the hands of a Magister. This cannot be allowed to stand. The letter from Alexius asked for the Herald of Andraste by name. It's an obvious trap. Isn't that kind of him? What does Alexius say about me? He's so complimentary that we are certain he wants to kill you. Not this again. Redcliffe Castle is one of the most defensible fortresses in Ferelden. It has repelled thousands of assaults. If you go in there, you'll die. And we'll lose the only means we have of closing these rifts. I won't allow it. And if we don't even try to meet Alexius, we lose the mages and leave a hostile foreign power on our doorstep. Even if we could assault the keep, it would be for naught. An Orlesian Inquisition's army marching into Ferelden would Whoa. provoke a war. Our hands are tied. just fell. The Magister has outplayed us. We can't just give up. There has to be something we can do. We cannot accept defeat now. There must be a solution. Where is the Isle of Redcliffe? I'm sure he'd help us get his castle back. After he was displaced, Arl Tegan rode straight for Dunarin to petition the Crown for help. I doubt he'll want our assistance once the Ferelden army lays siege to his castle. Wait. There is a secret passage into the castle, an escape route for the family. It's too narrow for our troops, but we could send agents through. Too risky. Those agents will be discovered well before they reach the Magister. That's why we need a distraction. Perhaps the envoy Alexius wants so badly. Focus their attention on Trevelyan while we take out the Tevinters. It's risky, but it could work. Fortunately, you'll have help. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this man says he has information about the Magister and his methods, Commander. Your spies will never get past Alexius's magic without my help. So if you're going after him, I'm coming along. The plan puts you in the most danger. We can't in good conscience order you to do this. We can still go after the Templars if you'd rather not play the bait. It's up to you. I think I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna do this, so... Yeah. Oh, am I going now? Ah, oh, am I going now? Oh, great. Um... 
I can't go back. Okay, whatever. So we're just they were gonna wrap this up. Um, but I'm still gonna finish this up. But after this, we're gonna wrap it up. And then I honestly might just work with the next one after. But who knows? Okay, so we have Dorian, who wants to come with us. I say, dare I say? I kind of want to take the mages with us. I think for this mage type thing. That's hard. That's a hard question. I don't know who I want to take. I'm kind of mad because I saved it and I kind of did it too early, but whatever. Um, I, I, I'm going to take all mages, just so I kind of want to try it this time. I want to do it, how see how it looks this time. Um, but I will say, um, most likely I'm going to, at the end, of, after I finish this, I'm going to save it. Um, I most likely will try to redo it, so we'll see. But let's see, yeah. Next my last has been going on. Jesus. Announce us. The Magister's invitation was for Mistress Trevelyan alone. The rest will wait here. 